We're talking about the update for the Ronin S. As you can see, I've updated this Ronin S with uh, my camera system. It's an A7 III with a 24 to 240 zoom lens. I use it for mainly the um, beach scenes that I do for my vlogs sometimes. And as you can see, I can zoom out uh, at decent telescopic length so I can uh, film the kite surface from a distance. And that's one feature, but uh, the, the added features now since the update is more brilliant than ever because now I can set this aside and I can use a Force Mobile which is a, a mobile phone connected by Bluetooth and I can control this gimbal with the phone just simply by just moving the phone up and down and it will interpret, interpret those movements for the gimbal hopefully making it smoother also here because you can see on top I've made a hot shoe mount basically it's a phone holder I don't know if you can see that with a cold shoe plate on the bottom and that works together as I with a mobile phone and from there on you can just control this whole joystick with the phone and its software for visually tracking somebody. All right, you're watching me using my active tracking mode and basically I'm carefully moving side to side and hopefully it should be working. Uh, of course this tripod is precariously um, on a table and I don't want to do any fast movements even though here yeah, is to demonstrate the auto uh, tracking system, visual tracking system. As you can see, the visual tracking works fine. Although, if I was to speed it up, um, well, it actually, it's working pretty marvelously. But if I was to run out of shots, I don't think the camera would like it that much. Uh, but otherwise, there's two speeds on this uh, tracking on the bottom right of the app as you select the um, subject there's a button there for fast or slow I've selected slow and it seems to be working fine so there's that but otherwise it seems to be uh, working pretty much okay as you can see I'm walking along and as I walk out of shot you can see camera going back and forth and uh, it seems to be working as I dip down it dips down do too so yeah anyway this is the slow version so if it's delayed slightly then you can blame the uh, the slow uh, speed of of this actually active tracking there is a fast speed so you can do that and test it if it works but otherwise if I'm doing a uh, presentation uh, just like this like a talking head that's walking uh, seems to be working fine I'll demonstrate to you the uh, force mobile if I go into the um, creative as you can see create force mobile and then you get these options here uh, which is speed smoothing enable force mobile so it won't work unless you enable it recenter and camera options which will go from video mode to photo mode if I take a picture or take a picture and if I enable it it will enable as you can see now um, you've got this speed settings will determine the speed of this gimbal. If I was you, somebody's actually uh, made a video where they've shaked this phone to the point where um, 
it top of this whole gimbal system and this gimbal is a bit top heavy so if you're forcibly shaking this you're likely to damage your 2000 pound camera so I won't bother um, do it smoothly and do it sensibly um, anyway my settings here is about 36 30 33 so yeah it kind of works and then the smoothing I think it smooths out all the uh, the gimbal itself so if you move suddenly it'll smoothly uh, ride out that momentum I'm not sure and additionally I put roll at zero but if you actually bring it up like so and turn it kind of works if I recenter it take it off it'll pan but it won't um, roll so unless you roll put on the roll it'll intentionally roll unless you uh, take it off it should be okay uh, which is a good feature actually anyway I hope that this demonstration uh, shows to you capabilities of the Force Mobile feature on the new updates for the Ronin S and hopefully inspires you to do something similar anyway see you on the next one cheers Goodbye.